I just want to personally thank Will Smith and Martin Lawrence for waiting until I got back from PAX to drop this shit. Because when I left, everybody started dropping all the trailers. But they waited for me to come back to drop this because I've been looking forward to this movie. Surprisingly, we didn't really get any any like glimpses into it until now, really. And then it's like it's just coming out. So yeah, it came out of nowhere. Like yeah. I'm on TikTok one day, and people are saying, "Oh, I see um, Will Smith in the middle of the street. They're filming Bad Boys." And I was like, they kept that shit quiet for. Yeah, him. I mean, I saw the initial announcement when he like rolled to Martin's crib. It was like, "Yo, what's up, Bad Boys? New movie?" I'm like, "All right." I loved, I loved all three. Some people were mixed about the third one. Personally, I loved it. You know what I mean? Because I guess I'm attached to these characters. So whenever they come back, it's like, you know what I mean? I'm with it. It's, it's like, you know, when, when Rush Hour 4 comes out, that's a day one for me because I loved, I loved the, the, the three of them. And, you know what I mean? I, I love this world. I love the characters. This is a joint that I'm highly, I'm highly anticipating. Yeah, no matter, how, no matter how many they make. I think that we as '90s babies, I won't just use the term '90s babies. When you when 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 you fall in love with these characters, they can make a thousand of these. Mm-hmm. You'll watch it just because you'll get that feel good feeling yeah. of when the first one came out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't care how many y'all make. I don't care how many rush hours they make. I am running my ass to the theater I'm and I'm supporting it every time. Yeah. I don't care how old these niggas get. I don't care how many movies they make. I am sitting my ass in the seat and I'm going to say thank you again. All right. So bad boys ride a dollar. Check this motherfucker out. In five. Come on, Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. Uh, Get a ginger ale and nothing else. Are those dogs fresh? Put them in yesterday. Give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. <laughs> Stay right there. Mm-mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Get the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I got to go. Damn! Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> no, I ain't nothing, nothing. Hey, Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, did you? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami what? PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. Captain Howard is being framed. Yeah. <laughs> We know you oh, are. Oh, they got, um, what the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck them all! <laughs> I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. Hold up, his son is. They're being set up, detectives. I knew it, I knew it. Oh! Oh! We have two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No! We can't wait for Lowry! It's flammable! I know they're scientists! Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. You got his son. You're working with his son. Look, good shit. Yeah, the shot. I need nasty mice. Bad boy. I got this. What you do, though? Oh. Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? What? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Uh, uh-oh. Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. So I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, because she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. What do you think? I'm gonna be honest. You fucking right. I'm. Oh, I'm just love this shit. I, I. I just. I'm. I'm in because you have to understand from from my angle. These guys are only going to get older, so I am appreciating being able to get them on screen, mm-hmm. no matter what. The storyline is vicious. You. You know, you're throwing dirt on the captain's name after he died, trying to say he was corrupt, which leads to them being mixed up in some shit. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they did 
let him work with his son in this movie. Remember, he locked his son up in the last one. Yeah. Because he was fucking shit up. It, it, it's going to be way more disastrous in this movie. And I, I, I hate to be that guy, but unless they plan on making Bad Boys 5, 6, and 7, my biggest fear about this movie is I think one of them may go. And that's what I'm afraid of. I don't see that happening because they're, they're it, no matter how much insanity they, they encounter, they, they, they're the stars of the movie. So I don't, I don't see them pulling, pulling something like that. If they do, that's going to shock the fuck out of me. I don't, I don't want to see that, and I hope that doesn't happen, but I, I don't think it'll go down that route. Now, with the trailer, I, 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 I do have mixed feelings about it. Because, mm-hmm. of course, it's not Bad Boys 1, it's not Bad Boys 2. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, even though I enjoyed 3, it wasn't as good as 1 and 2, but it was still enjoyable. This one, I'm a little mixed on it, but this is just based off the trailer. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm still going to see the movie because I'm a big, I'm a massive Bad Boys fan. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my, my, my mixed feelings, like, I hope they get resolved when I see the actual movie. Right, 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 right. right. You know what I mean, just some things look a little, of course, it's going it's to be different. And, of course, like I said, they're older. They're not going to be doing the same things they, they were in, in part one and all of that. Although, Will still looks great. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I got heat. Will looks younger than me. Yeah, you see, you see the age a little bit in Martin, but you know what I mean. Martin been through a lot, so you know it, it's, it's gonna happen. So like, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that that it looks whack to me. I'm, but I'm also not gonna say like this looks fucking insane. Right, right, I right. mean, some of the, some of the, some of the action does look fucking insane. Don't get me wrong; it does look fucking wild with the camera shots and and what's going on. It's just you know this first impression of the trailer. I am a little mixed about it, to be completely honest. You know what I mean? Still going to go see it. Still hyped to see it. And, you know, I'll, I'll reserve my judgment for when I see the actual movie. Either way, it's, it's still going to be something that I check out immediately just because of, of, just of because. the franchise and all of that. And you I like I mean? that. You, you, you looked at the trailer and it just is what it is. Certain, sometimes the trailer will impact you mm-hmm. and sometimes it just won't. It did it for me. Okay. I, and like I said, it did it for me because... I'm not expecting much from these two because of age. And I hate to keep using age, but they've been doing this for so long. I just get excited seeing them being able to move. Mm. You know? Not, I mean, they're not 90 years old. No, like, no, no, no. <laughs> when I say move, I mean they still jumping in scenes. They still, they're still trying their best to give you the best action sequence. Mm-hmm. Because you know people age, and that's just how life goes. And I think that me just being able to see Will Smith over and over again brings me a lot of joy. Yeah. Well. He's, he's top dog in yeah. my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. But I like the fact that you were honest and you said it didn't really, it didn't give you that bad boy's feel. Yeah, it, it's just so, something about it. You know, it's not it's not the same, but of course it's not going to be. So you try to give a leeway for that. It's it still has, it still has that it factor where you want to go see it, right? It's mm-hmm. just you know some some of some of the the the, the dialogue the interactions do feel you know it, it's, it's a little different. Like I'm trying to find the right way to to really explain it, but even even with that. Like the action is still there, mm-hmm. and you know you got you got the shots. You know what I mean the 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 three sixty around them, but I'm still gonna go watch it, and I, I still want to see what they're able to do. Cause you know what I mean like two real a three really leaned into it where they have this team. So it's like it's not just all of them. They got they got supporting characters too. Of course, the story revolves around them, especially this. They throw dirt on their name, the captain, and all that. I don't think the captain is dead. I hope he's not, cause he was a he was a he, he was a a big part of the movie, even though, you know... You said you don't think the captain is dead? I don't think he's dead. The way, the I, but he, I, I hope he's not, but... I, I, I think he's completely gone. After he got his chest blown open in three, you, you, can't, you can't... I don't see them making a way for him to come back. He got hit with a sniper rifle from a distance. Yeah, yeah. And he was bleeding out. And that wasn't one of those, yo, he might not be dead. Like, he, he checked. Now, if he does come back, I can see it being because Will Smith's son was working with the captain the whole time, even though he was causing chaos. We don't know. But as far as you talking about the team, Will Smith and Martin are on the run, apparently. I think that's when the team comes back. Uh, what's the girl from the... I always say she's from the Disney Channel. What is her name? Um, she's in this again. Vanessa Hudgens. Mm. She's in this. I just saw her. So that same team from the previous movie is going to come back together again and help them. Yeah. I just think once the movie comes, I think you will love it more, but I respect the honesty with you saying it ain't... It ain't. I, I think it's one of those things because, like, these are characters that they they love the franchise. So they're not gonna they're not gonna half ass it. So you know, what I mean, sometimes the the trailer is not it it 
it holds a lot back. Okay. On purpose, which it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to deliver you the whole movie in the trailer. So I, I do think it's going to be one of those things where no matter what you feel, when you watch the actual movie, it might surprise the fuck out of you. I do think, like, with, with some of the action I saw in this shit, I think, you know, they, they're, they're going to go, like, straight balls to the wall with the shit. And it's, it's going to be different. It's going to have a different feel. But I think I think it's going to work. So like I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve my judgment for when the actual movie comes out. It's still a day one for me because you know I love I love both of these dudes and I love the franchise. So yeah, it's still a day one for me, and uh, we'll see when it comes out. One question before we check out: What would disappoint you? And I'm asking you because you are a movie lover, and I never get a chance to ask people this before a movie drops. Is there anything in your mind that you could possibly say verbally right now that would disappoint you and have you saying, "Oh, what the fuck"? I just think if 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 their if their interactions and their chemistry isn't like what it was before, because like that's the movie is built on both of these dudes having that chemistry, the back and forth, the you know the the snap talking and roasting each other and all of that. If if that feels off to me, it, it's gonna disappoint me because like that's what you go see it for. In one, it was there. In two, it was there. In three, it was still there. This one, I think that's the main thing that I want because you know you want to see both of these dudes on screen riffing and, and going back and forth. If that's not there, then that's going to be the biggest thing. Because even if some of the action isn't where I want it to be, I can still forgive it because, like, I'm here for them. You need their chemistry. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I want. You know what I mean? So that, that'll be the main thing that'll disappoint me. Everything else is just, you know, is whatever. But that's the one thing that I want. So we'll see when it, when it comes out. It's still a day one for me regardless. But, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out when it comes out. I ain't cut. Damn, I wonder. I wonder if Martin had a stroke in real life. I don't know, cause he was struggling when the reunion came. He was struggling to stand and all that. Yeah, and he was um he was off the grid for about two years and a few months, like after the Bad Boys four, after Bad Boys three or four. Which one came out? Two years ago. That was yeah. three. That was three. Yeah, this is four. This is four. So after um three, he went off the grid. Like he wasn't doing shit, wasn't appearing on nothing. His Instagram went dark. Um. The reunion, he was like, his face was like, one side was like, boom. And then the swelling of his, his neck and his face and the slur in his talk, mm. that's a stroke. That's, that comes from the stroke half of the time. Mm. That's some scary ass shit. It will, I mean, it will make sense. You see how he was struggling to get certain, it, it was like it. Yeah, because some, something fell off about him. Yeah, yeah. He was, you, you saw how slow he talked, right? Yeah. If you go back to that Skittle scene, um, it took him a while to be able to even finish that line. Because I was trying to figure out what it was. It just it just felt different. His Damn. Com- his comedy was off because he couldn't deliver the lines as snappy as you usually do. Yeah. It was more so like it was really a really slow delivery. Damn. I hope he's cool then, because that's that's scary. You don't want to see nobody, I mean. Well, like that. Strokes are serious. That can change your whole life. Some niggas ain't the same after a stroke, ever. I hope that's not the case, but I don't know. 